Hello and uh, welcome to a new episode of Concepts. Uh, in this video, we will discuss the relationship between the frequency f, which is measured in hertz, and the angular frequency omega, which is measured in radians per second. So the frequency f has units hertz, abbreviated as h z and the angular frequency omega has units of radians per second and <clears throat> today we will discuss what is the relationship between them uh, the mathematical relationship between omega and f is omega equals 2 pi f what does it mean <clears throat> and how does it uh, simplify the visualization and interpretation of frequency by by using the angular frequency rather than the frequency in hertz okay so to illustrate this we have the sinusoidal waveform uh, which is a periodic waveform where this constitutes one complete cycle of the sinusoidal waveform which covers an angle from 0 to pi by 2 to pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi. So that constitutes one cycle of the sinusoidal waveform. Now the time taken to complete one cycle is called the time period. So the time it takes to cover this one cycle is called the time period. Now if this sinusoidal waveform takes one second to complete one cycle then the frequency of the sinusoid is 1 hertz so 1 hertz corresponds to 1 cycle per second cycle per second similarly if this waveform completes two cycles in one seconds then it will be having a frequency of 2 hertz so 2 hertz corresponds to 2 cycles per second and so on so when the frequency is 1 hertz what happens to omega 1 hertz corresponds to omega equals 2 pi into 1 which is 2 pi radians Per second so omega is basically uh, can be omega the angular frequency can be visualized as a phasor uh, which is rotating so let me draw the phasor so we have a phasor which is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction like this and the rate at which it rotates corresponds to the frequency in hertz for example 1 hertz corresponds to this phasor completing one full rotation in one second so if this phasor rotates one full circle in one second that corresponds to a frequency of 1 hertz so when the frequency in what is 1 hertz it completes one full circle and in terms of angle that corresponds to 360 degrees so from here to here it's 90 degrees and that's another 90 that's 180 270 and 360 so when the frequency of the sinusoid is 1 hertz the angular frequency is 2 pi or 360 radians per second so pi is 180 and 2 pi is 360 so that means this arrow has rotated by an angle of 2 pi radians in one second so similarly if the frequency is 2 hertz so 2 hertz corresponds to the angular frequency omega being 2 pi into 2 which is 4 pi radians per second.
per second that means <clears throat> this arrow would complete two full cycles in one second so that means it has covered an angle of 2 pi for the first circle and another 2 pi for the second circle so that means it has covered 4 pi radians in one second so increasing the frequency simply corresponds to this arrow rotating faster in the anti-clockwise direction so that is the relationship between the frequency in hertz and the angular frequency in radians per second thank you